Now we have a couple options for how we add the triggers to the remaining buttons. Now whenever possible, I like to work with shortcut keys, which means I, I like to use the keyboard as much as I can. Now we already added the first trigger, and you can see that over here in the triggers panel, right? So here's our label one trigger, and it's applied to this first button. Well, I could go and create a new trigger and go through the same process, or I can just copy this existing trigger and paste it to the next object, the next button, and then just make a slight modification to the actual label, the actual hyperlink. So here's what this looks like. So I can either copy this by right-clicking and choosing Copy, or I could come down here and click Copy from the button, or even the fastest way, I could just select it and press Control C on the keyboard, right? The universal copy get a shortcut. So I've copied it. Now I can come over here and actually select this first button and this next button. And while I'm still selected here, just press Control V to paste. And look what that did over here. Each button now has its own label trigger. What I can do here is simply change the target layer. So this is label two, it's gonna to go to label two, label three, I select the hyperlink and come to label three. Just a lot faster, especially when you're working with a lot of triggers or a lot of buttons and you're trying to uh, work as efficiently as possible. Just a really quick shortcut, but uh, you can always get to those just by clicking the create new trigger button. All right, so let's just preview our interaction by coming up here to preview, preview the slide. Here's our tab, click the first one, second, and the third. Everything's looking great, right? Okay, so a couple more things we'll do to customize this slide and then we'll be ready to uh, just about wrap this up.